Hi, I'm Dr. Alexis Tapanes Castillo from St. Thomas University. I have three tips to help you teach virtual lab simulations online. Three. Tip number three, set expectations. Meet with your students online before the virtual lab simulation. Discuss learning objectives. Warn them about any potential conceptual or technical difficulties they might encounter. Explain to your students how they will be assessed. With these expectations in mind, your students will be more productive during the simulation. Two. Tip number two, make sure every student can run the simulation. Sometimes virtual lab simulations have computer and or browser requirements or preferences. Run a systems check with each student to make sure that they can load and open the simulation. Also, make sure the student understands the gameplay logistics of the simulation. For example, how to move their avatar and how to get help when they are not sure about what to do next. One. Tip number three, after the students complete the simulation, hold a review session. Review the important concepts that were covered and review the student's assessment. Ask for student feedback during the simulation. Here at St. Thomas University, we are currently using several virtual lab platforms, including Labster, University of Colorado FET Labs, Kentucky Educational Television KET Labs, and Praxi Labs. The three tips I covered today are universal for all the lab platforms. So good luck, have fun, and enjoy virtual lab simulations.